To continue the stream of good news, on Tuesday night, the Division of Student Affairs hosted their yearly student leadership reception. This year, three halls were awarded Hall of the Year, with Pascarilla West taking home the Women's Hall of the Year Award, Carroll Hall taking it on the men's side, and O'Neill Family Hall under the direction of Colin Malik, Frank Jang, and Jack Kelly. All three dorms will get the prize Dome Dance during the next academic year. Of course, this is a highly contentious award, and for more thoughts, we send it over to our panel. Thank you, Helen. Well, I'm Elise Dahoney here with JJ Post and Jake Irons, and we're going to talk about how the past few weeks have been very busy weeks in terms of dorm competition. I mean, just in the past few weeks, uh, ND Barstool has had yeah. their own bracket for dorm competition, uh, Irish Woodworks, and probably most importantly, we were named, well not we, other dorms were named Hall of the Year, uh, which Helen just mentioned. But I want to start out just talking about these Hall of the Year awards, because they're most important. So I, in, it was the Men's Hall of the Year was Carol, Women's Hall of the Year was P-Dub, and then overall Hall of the Year was O'Neill. Opinions on O'Neill being overall Hall of the Year. This is, I, I don't find myself on Wednesday nights over here and Thursday mornings all that often on Sunrise. However, when I do, I'm going to come in firing. There shouldn't be two Hall of the Year. So in this situation, O'Neill winning the overall Hall of the Year and then Carol winning the men's, just eliminate the men's. They are the men Hall of the Year also taking the overall. There's no need to do d both. I understand you're going to push back. Oh, the dome dance is going to be so pretty, and it's going to be amazing. I That's have a really stupid. pretty dress. That is so stupid. We don't award two winners. Oh, who? We Ryan don't award win? two winners. There's no two winners. Keep it moving. O'Neill should just be outright. And let's be honest, Carol doing a great job out there. Way to go, guys. Second place, I don't know if that's really what you should be striving for. Yeah, I concur with Jacob here. Carol might be the best suburb of Chicago out there, but they indeed <laughs> finished second in the best men's dorm competition, and that should not be rewarded for dome dance. Listen, second. Credit to them for finishing second. Yeah. But they still finish second. It's dumb to have a Hall of the Year and then a Best Men's Hall of the Year when Hall of the Year was a Men's Hall. Same applies if it was and if there, if there is something different I, here. I don't get what they're going for. If there's something that specifies the difference, me and JJ will love to hear it, but I, on paper it seems like it's the same categories then it's just taking the second place one at the end of the day. Yeah, listen, my, my... I think your excitement deserves a little bit of an explanation. Neither of their dorms were named. Okay, that's so... Year. That is so... But I will say... No, I am no. devastated. I don't know what dorms, I will do to personally okay, recover from this. Me. Since your dorms were not named Hall of the Year, since there were other dorms, there's now three dorms, not just two that were named Hall of the Year, you have the opportunity to have people from three different dorms to take you to a dome dance. But there's only one hall, women's yeah, Hall of the Year. That's not... That's, I don't know. I don't. You could go with that. Yeah, I don't I know where we're going here. Like, how am I getting there? I got one. The math shot. doesn't work there. <laughs> I got one shot. Hey, I got two, so I, I'll, I'll. Way to go. Wait, this is this I'm systematic is inequality, folks. This systematic is inequality. You're telling yes. me two men's okay. dorms get a dome dance, only one doesn't. Only one woman doesn't. I'm. Just, all I'm saying, systematic inequality. If there's any guys in O'Neill or Carroll who need a date to dome dance. Shameless. I am a This villain. is not what mass media is but for. Moving on, moving on. Propaganda. Let's let's Nonsense. go to a more a more informal competition. Uh, ND Barstool had their recent bracket competition for dorms. First of all, did you guys vote in nope. these in these brackets? <laughs> you didn't vote? You didn't vote? That's why Fisher. I have better things to do on Instagram than look at ND Barstow, such you're as passing, not being on Instagram. You're passing through the Instagram stories. I'm sitting there at two, at like midnight, and you're just like, uh, uh, okay, hold on, here Real we go. Real men use Twitter, not Instagram. I use Twitter too, boss. Did you not see? I got a tweet out there right at the current moment. I'm just saying. Our, our desk popular. host Tyler knows the virtues of Twitter. Yes, but yeah. We'll get we'll but, get to that debate on a later time. At the end of the day, you voted. I voted yes because that's the yes. that's your Notre Dame right. I think Mary Claire, who's our camera operator, voted. I bet you Helen voted. I bet you you voted. I did, and you know I voted for Siegfried. For you. Thank you. Thank you. Same and you Hall. voted. For, you told um, me you voted for Ryan over. When you up. asked me to vote for Ryan, I voted for Ryan out of respect for your request. Otherwise, I was not, not voting it. in these polls. Ryan made it past the first round, luckily, but we didn't make it much further than that, even though we should. But I think. Congrats McGlynn, on being the Tennessee of dorms. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> McGlynn, we have gone off the rails Keenan, on this panel. McGlynn and Keenan ended up winning uh, for the ND Bar stool brackets. And I think they both are very deserving dorms. Keenan, of course, our colleague Sam Kaufman and I went to the Keenan Review this year and enjoyed it like crazy. It was a fantastic show. And then McGlynn, it's on West Quad. I guess they have that going for them. I, I can't, I don't I think Keenan makes the most sense here because we've seen a restructuring of Keenan of just there's there's 
the student body there, but then they also have maybe the after hours life as well mm -hmm. of Keenan, which may have propelled them forward, especially in this ND bar school. You also have to take that into consideration as yeah, well. I'll be honest, the extent of my knowledge of dorm competitiveness is I play on my dorm soccer team. That's about it. So I, I'm not the person How's to. How's your dorm soccer team doing? We made it to the next round, two hey, and one. I'll take it. There we um, go. Yeah, no, I have not contributed much, to say the least. Um, I <laughs> The reason I talk about sports is I can't play them. But Those at any rate, play, talk. there are better Whoa, people who analyze whoa. dorm competition. Jake, <laughs> let's be honest here. <laughs> Dude, I can I can hit Jake, a golf Jake. ball. Jake. The I can guy. hit a golf ball. Jake. Okay. Be honest here. Okay. okay that's well, I, I think clearly there's a little bit of anger over here there's in no general anger. about dorms, but we can discuss this later at a later date when we talk about how excellent Ryan Hall is in one of our upcoming Shameless. Shows. Good lord. Now back to the desk. We'll see you guys later.